won every bout that they've played. Yeah, M. We're talking about M, our streamer, not N, the guy who's about to play on stream. Correct. I By the way, there was somebody who entered tonight with a tag Y, and I so badly wanted to see him play N, just so it could be like the shortest YouTube, like, oh, just post Y title versus N. ever. Y versus N. Yes versus no, dude. Oh my God. Been the best. That's terrible. Maybe in the future. Yeah. So we, see why I we were touching over why maybe that is the case. Their set history is Lunchables has always been known for his elusive movement. Mm -hmm. Three, and uh, two, we've always one, known N go. for his wild out caveman aggressive style of play. Yeah. Goes bigly. And when you're going crazy and holding forward a lot, trying to pressure, your movement can get, you know, the, the aggressive and... Uh, Solid, elusive movement from Lunchables can really bait out these whiffs, get some good punishes. Yeah, I mean, basically the big thing that you're going to look for is if N does try to uh, leverage his aggression to get those big combos to start, like he usually uses to win those games, you're going to see Lunchables just dash back and get that nice spacing because his movement is so historically good. You know, he'll be able to give himself some stage position and hopefully get a whiff punish. But sometimes Ken has very little end lag on his moves because he's a fighting game here. Absolutely. Stuck out here going real deep. That Tatsu barely nicking Lunchable, so he's able to make it back. It's enough to give N the uh, the advantage here over on the ledge. But he backs off, gives Lunchables the chance to move forward, but he doesn't. End Crosses it. over, but you know, N's going to be looking out for that now, looking over for a lot of empty jumps from Lunchables, because that's a lot of potential shore use in the future. I mean, that is, that is a hallmark of Lunchables' movement, is that it's not movement to go do some crazy, you know, combo. It's that he moves around and makes you think that you're able to hit him and then he just zips out of the way. He has he has that. a full dex build. I, that killed him. Yeah. That is uh, a little bit harder to do than reuse strong jab. <laughs> Ken has access to uh, old reuse strong jab and hitboxes, but uh, that roundhouse is locked behind a more complex motion. It's the crescent kick, but you don't hold. Continuing to rack on the hits, he gets a forwarder and a back air on the same focus. They're not through, and yeah, Lunchables is just, like you're saying, man, just reading this uh, this aggression like a book. Oof, that up tilt catching and trying to uh, go above. Oof, the dashing? Set up for a nice tech chase, too, and just didn't want to chase Lunchables all the way into the corner. Mm -hmm. That's that half circle medium. Go for it, we'll do it, yeah. Can't, like we were saying, can't whip moves anywhere near Lunchables. He sets up this space perfectly where he's ready to move in as soon as you whip that aerial. And see, the impressive thing about setting up that space is that you can do it all you want, but you need to have the reaction time to back that up so that you can say, all right, you did this, I will punish you. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I could I could not react to the same things the Lunchables does. He has incredible reactions to be able to set all this up and have the play style that he does. It's like electronically good. Play styles aren't always... Uh, as cut and dry as this is optimal, so I'll do it. It's like, dang, do you actually have the ability? Dude, and Lunchables is so confident in that ability to space perfectly because he's standing at the ledge. He's not giving himself any options to be able to make a mistake. No. Oh my goodness, he fell out of the shore. You can. No margin for error. And gets the footstool, though, and Lunchables goes, ha ha, okay, but I'm going to kill you now. One hit. It's not Ike, you don't get multiples. Yeah, he doesn't actually have a big swinging sword box on the way up. <gasps> That's <laughs> unbelievable. We've seen N win before in that way. Look at how jazzed he is about it, too. That's amazing. You can never count N out. Never. At any percent. As long at as they're on the same stock. Percent. I mean, N has a history of making wild comebacks. You remember N versus Tenny? Uh, that's the one that comes to mind. You remember N versus Tenny at uh, Ultimatum? At Ultimatum. Boy, that's a set for y'all to look up if you ain't seen it. Yeah, please do. That's nuts. All right, so back to Pokemon Stadium 2, and this is uh, just what Lunchables will do. This is his favorite stage, and whether or not it's the best for his character, that's up to you to decide, but uh, this is what he has been grown right. on. Definitely think it. that it's it's great for this character to have these platforms to cover without a top platform for people to camp. And it's also just phenomenal. He has all this space to go and move. Oh, what are you doing, Ed? It's going for those, uh, I hope my opponent dropped their controller and make combo Ken combos. <laughs> like six up airs. There's a difference between a Ken combo and a Ken combo. Ooh. 
Back air coming in clutch at just the right time. <laughs> you can't really aggressively edge guard against the focus with that uh, that neutral B. I mean, your only option is neutral with Brom, right? I guess so, but it, by the time you go out there, you're not coming back from that if you go exactly. out to neutral air. Wow, that same combo again <gasps> worth, worth every day of the week. Worth every penny. Lunchables setting up that Kramikaze. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yeah, I definitely can't take credit for it. Oh, that's too bad. But it is a beautiful phrase. Okay, but Lunchables. I think I first heard Spark saying that. That would make sense. Spark's got some more liners. I don't know. Spark might actually hate There's Kramikaze. There's no answer! Except for DI, DI in so that you don't get killed by it. And is laughing like a man who just saw death and said it, it told death to go away, not yet. What do we say to the god of death? I, <laughs> no, not today. Well, you are all you almost had it. You were almost there. Yeah, I you don't, don't watch I don't. Thrones. No, I don't. Unfortunate. Oh my I goodness. Pre I prefer to watch stools. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you should be. Uh, there's, there's, there's other <laughs> contexts you can take about. Oh my goodness, these first hit nares is pressure. That jab is reset. Is he come back? I didn't know you could uh, jab reset with proximity F tilt, but it definitely ruined his punish afterwards too, so that's a big bummer. He goes low! Okay, he's, he's back. I don't want to see it end on an SD, man. All right, and still has control of center. If he gets the read, he can get the Shoryu! That was a big, scary counter. That's damage! I don't know why he didn't let Focus rip. Tech Chase. Oh, no. Doesn't read the air dodge. Whoa! What? That's a first hit in air! Those combos are hard to land, too. When's the broom coming in? What are you seeing? The sweep. Who's going to sweep it? The janitor to come clean it all up. And That's he gets it. it. The medium Shoryu schmoves right in, eats the back air, focus attack dashes, lands gets that down tilt, and that's sweet confirm. And that nice. is big for N. Big for N. That he's 